Ouais. <rire> She makes a lot of food. And she asked us if we did. I said, hell yeah, I do, girl. I eat good. Yes, indeed. <laughs> started cooking jackfruit and I'm not that acquainted with it but let me tell you it is perfect like last time we cooked it um, we kept it whole and shredded it after it was cooked because it was softer and easier to do but this time so that we can have more flavor because it will have more surface area we're shredding it beforehand and it is a little more difficult and there's a hard piece at the bottom of the fruit but like I'm not letting any go to waste so we're gonna eat that piece Just shredding it up and I'm actually almost done right now and if you look at it, it's honestly just like chicken, low key. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with some salt. I'm just using coarse social salt. Coarse social salt. <laughs> coarse custard salt. Some garlic powder. Lots of garlic powder, I will say. I should have measured these out, but I don't really measure anything. I'll work on that. Onion powder. <laughs> Cayenne. My cayenne's broke because I drop it all the time. You know, for the fact that it's glass, I'm I glad. The glass did not break at all, though. Chili powder. Be careful if this one does not have a topper. I've learned that the hard way. Also, if you're feeling wild, don't be careful. Yeah, actually, it's chili powder. Who cares? <laughs> um, smoked paprika. The Locks in there. Yeah. Cumin. Mm, lots of cumin. Like, if it's not coated in spices, it needs more. So the cheese sauce is obviously very important to a nacho dish, but also important for being vegan because missing cheese is one of those things I feel like a lot of vegans experience. So right now I'm starting by just sweating out some onions. You just add some olive oil or any oil of your choice, some onions, and a little bit of salt to draw the water out, and we're going to put carrots because, as you can imagine, carrots make the cheese sauce look orange and, you know, carrots are obviously orange. And we've got one golden potato. This adds a sort of creaminess. I also am adding cashews. I don't know if all of these things are necessary, but I think that it's going to make a nice creamy mixture. First, you have to find the perfect chip. And then you gotta dive in. Bomb? Yes? It's all good. Hey. 